fan club wants the answers to all these questions. I don't know why they want to know. I mean, what possible difference does it make what my favorite color is? I'm just a guy, just an ordinary guy. Well, I guess that's the way fan clubs are. It's had a couple of lucky breaks. Well, okay, maybe a little extra, this or that. <laughs> Dash of charisma, and then sense of style. I don't know. I'm just a guy. Just a guy who happens to dig the color... blue. I was holding my breath there. There were those of us who were betting on red. Say, Mary, uh, did you read any funny stories on The Wire that we can close the show with tonight? Uh, no, sorry. <sighs> did you see any unfunny stories we can close the show with tonight? Nope. Did you hear any good jokes recently? <laughs> <laughs> What's my favorite dessert? <laughs> Honestly, you think I was some sort of a god or something. <laughs> Baked Alaska. <laughs> Baked Alaska, wait a minute, that, that, that sounds a little airy. <laughs> Maybe I ought to make it a little more substantial, like apple pie. Uh, Ted, are you saying that you're actually going to lie about what your favorite dessert is? I was just kidding. Can't you tell when I'm kidding? <laughs> Baked Alaska. Apple. Alaska. I've got my closer, now listen to this, Mary. A new social club in Minneapolis is holding a branch meeting tonight. The club for divorced people only is called the Better Luck Next Time Club. Oh, it's so awful, it's great. What, what, what's so awful about a club for divorced people? Come on, Mary, would you join it? Well, no, I uh, wouldn't. Uh, uh, Murray, I wouldn't join it because, A, I don't happen to be divorced, and, uh, B, I'm just not a joiner, but I think for... People who are, uh... Divorced joiners. I think that's the phrase you're looking for. I think it's a good idea. I mean, it's a way for people to meet people, like all those clubs are. Well, what's this thing about meeting? Like it's some big, mysterious thing. It's the easiest thing in the world. Take Marie and me. How'd you two meet? She saved my life. Oh, it was no big deal. Uh, I was skydiving once. My chute didn't open. Hers did. She made a terrific catch. <laughs> Mary... <clears throat> I need your advice about something. Yeah, sure, Tim. Uh, not, not that it's important, but... Uh, <clears throat> do you think it sounds too risque for an anchor man to say he sleeps in the raw? <laughs> Divorce club thing on tonight's news? Uh, no. Oh. Well, you know, um, uh, I was thinking about it and, uh... Jog. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, so <laughs> we ought to join. Join a, a club for divorced people? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> what? Why not? Yeah, give me one good reason. Give you one good reason? Yeah. Okay, all right. But, Rhoda, you should already be aware of this good reason. We're not divorced. A technicality. So we say we are. You mean you actually want to lie about being divorced? Yes, you forward. Mary, you talk about it like I'm asking you to deny your birthright. Like being single is part of your heritage or something. I mean, it's a drag saying you're 30 and single all the time. You know it is. I know, I know. Good, oh. we're done. Oh. And then, Mary, that ever-popular question. How come a girl like you isn't married? Mm. How come you're still single? Right. You know, sometimes, Rhoda, I think that I could discover the secret of immortality and people would still say, look at that single girl discovering the secret of immortality. <laughs> that is exactly what I'm talking about, Mayor. Imagine the relief of not having to go through that for once. You meet someone. You don't have to explain why you're not married. You're divorced. You know something, Rhoda? It really is all very, uh... Right. But mostly it's crazy. Mary, please look at my point of view. I mean, dressing dummies in a department store window is not the best way to get into the social swim. Let's face it, unless someone comes up and kisses the glass, I've had it. <laughs> Rhoda, I am not joining a club for divorced people, so you might just as well change the subject. Okay, okay. My new subject is Paris, France. You know that trip to Paris you've never been able to afford? There's this club, see, Mayor. If you join and are a member for six months, you can get a charter flight for just $300. $300? That's right. 
What's the club? The Divorce People's Club. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, that stopped you, didn't it? And on top of that, Mary, you speak fluent French. Spanish. Ah, they speak anything in Paris. <laughs> the left bank, Jean Kelly. April in Paris. Chestnuts in Blossom. <sighs> okay, Rhoda, okay, I'll do it. But you gotta promise me we're just gonna walk in, get our membership cards, and leave, right? Promise. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna change, shower, I'll be down and meet you here for what? Half an hour. Okay. Hey, Rhoda, do you know what I'm doing? I am changing my clothes at 8 o'clock at night so that I can go to a club where I'm gonna lie about being divorced so that I can, perhaps, in a few months' time, end up in Paris speaking Spanish. You too? Hmm. You're the tenth person who's told me that today. <laughs> Hey, are you new here? Uh, yes. Are you interested in buying a house? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. Uh -uh. Right, nice to meet you. <laughs> starting, it's uh, starting already. I hear these little voices that are saying, get out while you can. Is that what you are saying? My voices usually tell me to go save France. <laughs> oh, hi. Welcome to the Better Luck Next Time Social Club. I'm Karen Norris, your better luck next time registration gal. And this is Dr. Walter Udall, our president. And also your better luck next time registration guy. <laughs> oh, and also your better luck next time resident dentist. Incredible. Are you aware of the fact that you have incredible teeth, young lady? Thank you. Brushing after meals, electric toothbrush, sugarless gum, you're into that whole bag, right? Uh, <laughs> yes, I, I guess so. <laughs> Why don't you even have to ask? I mean, oh. Good luck to you. Thank and you. And with that mouth, you won't need it. <laughs> well, you came on a big night. We're electing officers. Well, let's fill out this application. Your name, please. Uh, Mary Richards. Mm -hmm. Mary Richards. And your maiden name, Mrs. Richards? Um, uh, my, uh, is... Uh, Mrs. Uh, Richards, excuse me, Karen. Oh, well. uh, you know how I get. Uh, <laughs> tell me, uh, uh, did you have such beautiful teeth even before your marriage went on the rocks? I beg your pardon. So often, after a divorce, a woman suddenly decides to spruce herself up, you know, and naturally the first thing she thinks about is her teeth and gums. Well, uh, I can say as an objective bystander that uh, Mrs. Richard's teeth were as beautiful the day she married Stefano as they are today. <laughs> Could Mary and I just take them and fill them out ourselves? Oh, certainly, if it makes it easier, Mrs. Um... Miss Morgenstern. Rhoda Morgenstern. Miss Morgenstern? Uh, he thought it was in the best interest of the space program that I retain my maiden name. <laughs> the program you were married to an astronaut. Which one? Oh, please, I'd rather not say any more. You know how it is. Word gets out, people start hitting you up for moon rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rhoda, didn't you want to inquire about the, uh, what was it, uh, charter, charter flights of to course. Uh, Paris? Oh, yes, well, we, we're going to jot down the names of those interested after the meeting. But meantime, why don't you just wander around, introduce yourself to some of the other divorce heads? <laughs> Unbelievable tea. I knew this was going to happen, Rhoda. You know, we're going to be here all night. Oh, come on, it's okay, Mayor. I, just a few hours. Now, uh... Just act natural and uh, try to look divorced. Hi. Hi, my name is Frances Franklin, but everybody calls me Sparky. I don't know why. I guess it's because all my friends say I sparkle and bubble. <laughs> they say ever since I'm divorced, I'm like another person, all sparkling. <laughs> That's why they call me Sparky. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yes. Who the guy in the Argyles is, hmm? Uh, no, we're new here, so, uh... Hi! You're new here! <laughs> the name's Roy. This is my buddy, Pam. Oh, I... Roy, how? I'm, uh, Mary. Mary. This is Rhoda. Rhoda. And, uh, Sparky. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, my real name is, uh, Francis Franklin, but all my friends call me Sparky. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess it's because I just sparkle and bubble all the time. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh... <laughs> Listen, I want to warn you about this place. I mean, it's filled with losers. It's up to here with losers that you wouldn't believe. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nothing but losers. Oh, right. listen, oh. But if you really want me to steer you clear from the losers, just call on me because I can do it for you. My name is uh, 
Roy. Roy. R O Y. That's it. I'll talk to you later. Sparky. <laughs> so long, Roy. He's such a loser. Look, I, uh, I wanted to talk to you anyway. You know, you're the spitting image of my ex-wife. Oh, uh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, except she wore her hair up. Uh... And, um, and how long have you been a member of this so-called social club, may I ask, huh? <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> yeah, if you had it on top of your head, you'd look exactly like her, just exactly. Yeah. Uh, well, excuse me. What? I said, excuse me, I seem to be interrupting something. Oh, no, not a bit. Yeah, let's try it, shall we? Sh Let, we let's uh, just put it up. You, you see now, uh, that looks terrible. So did you, she. Yes. <laughs> hey, you want to buy a, yeah, you know, good I ask you. Now, uh, please. What'd you say your name was? Uh, Mary. Want to split? Uh, no, thank you. Well, what'd you come here for if you don't want to leave? I, uh, I came here for the uh, meeting. Oh, the meeting. Yeah, well, what about, uh, what's her name here? Hey, you want to split the... Uh, no, I'm already splitting with Roy. We're going to take flashlights and go out hunting for losers. <laughs> well, if you change your mind, you know where I'll be. Remember the name here, too, right? Hal? You know, you might want a tall one. You never know. <laughs> Leaving, going away, saying bye-bye to the creepies. No more. Oh, wait, give it a chance. Hey, 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 Mrs. Richards, you're not leaving now, are you? Uh, the well, meeting's just about to start. There, you see, Mary, we can't go yet. Uh, that's, uh, Freddy. Freddy? Yeah, my younger brother. Nice-looking boy, isn't he? Not one filling. Uh, one? <laughs> uh, Dr. Udall, uh, can you tell me when we'll be getting to the uh, charter flight? Oh, well, we probably won't uh, be getting to that till next time. Why? Oh, well, tonight's the night when we each stand up and in intimate detail, tell all about what led to our divorces. I, uh, I don't think that I can do that. Why not? Well, uh, because... Uh, because the details were sort of embarrassing. Uh, yes, uh, humiliating. Sordid, even. Oh, really? <laughs> well, then, you can go first. <laughs> Well, he said we could sign up for the charter flight next week. That is not what I'm upset about, and you know it, Rhoda. The story of how you got divorced? I think you did that terrific. It isn't that either. Well, now, just relax. We'll sit down and talk, huh? Hello? Oh, hi, Phyllis. I was at my new club. My new uh, social club. Uh, uh, we in the club call it the Better Luck Next Time Club because it's for divorced people. You don't have to go into that with her. No, no, I'm not kidding. <laughs> How did you guess? She said it was Rhoda's idea. <laughs> yeah, it was Rhoda's dumb idea. Yeah, you're right, Phyllis. It makes perfect sense not to go back. There's only one thing. <laughs> Due to the efforts of a dental admirer of mine, well, think of something. I am the new vice president. <laughs> Mrs. Richards, right in there, please. <laughs> oh. Hello, doctor. Oh, Mrs. Richards, you just sit right down here. Well, I... Oh, I have been looking forward to this ever since you called. Did the nurse take your x-rays uh, yet? Yes, she did, even though I kept telling her I didn't want to see you professionally. Oh, you don't mean you're going to call the examination off. I canceled three appointments to get you in. Oh, uh, well, no, of course I want an examination, oh, oh, too. Oh, goodness, you gave me... Quite a, quite a start there, I'm telling you. I mean, to, to have that mouth in this chair and not to get at it. <laughs> okay. All right. When was the last time you had your teeth examined? Uh, Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you, they say you should always get a second opinion. <laughs> Mrs. Richard, you are one in a million. You're, you're a dentist dream. I, I, you know, I, uh, may I? Oh, please. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, not enough people really care about their teeth, or for that matter, their gums. Say, uh, professionally speaking, I'm a, I'm a gum man myself. <laughs> uh, do you, by any chance, uh, keep up with gums? 
Well, uh, not any more than I've needed just to get along. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, you uh, might have heard lately that uh, teeth themselves are nowhere. I mean, teeth are still teeth, God bless them, but, uh, <laughs> but people are finally realizing that gums are where it's at. I have to tell you something. I... Oh, well, you don't have to feel self-conscious with me. After all, I am a dentist. Uh, well, it's just that it's... Well, it's so embarrassing. Embarrassing? You don't know how much you trust me already. I, I do. Oh, why, of course. How many strangers do you know who you'd let put their fingers in your mouth? Dr. Udall, I am not divorced. Oh, well, you, you haven't got your final degree yet. I, I, I haven't even gotten married yet. I'm single. I know it sounds terrible, but... Well, you had these charter flights to Europe, and I know I shouldn't oh, have... All but... right, lean back. Let's get on with the examination, please. Uh, Dr. Udall, did, did, you, did you hear what I said? You said nothing. This conversation never took place. Mouth, please. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Rich... Oh, Miss Richards. Is that right? Your last name is Richards? I, I had that coming. I know it. I uh, had... Uh, yeah. You bit my probe. <laughs> Open. Miss Richards, are you aware of what it's like to place some unknown person's name, nominate them against a club favorite, the incumbent? I, I, I had that coming too. I uh, did. And you know, you're biting it again. I'm sorry. And you know who that incumbent was, yes. Miss Richards? Yes, I do. My younger brother, Freddie. I nominated you and you beat out my kid brother, Freddy. You know how close I am to Freddy? Uh, pretty close. Uh, yes, until I nominated you. And you have the nerve to sit there and tell me you are single. All right, this examination is over. However, unless you wish to humiliate me completely, you'll be at that meeting next Wednesday. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, there's only uh, one thing, of what? course. Uh, how am I going to get married and divorced by next Wednesday? Hurry. <laughs> I got bad news. You know those two guys we met here last week, Roy and Hal? Yeah? They're the cream of the crop. Oh, Rhoda! <laughs> you, you realize that in five minutes I have to stand up on this stage and face those people there and, and tell them the truth? I mean, I don't know how I'm going to put it. You take it easy, kid. Really, I know how you feel. You can't imagine what you'll say. But it seems impossible that it'll turn out right. And then something just kind of pops into your head? No, you usually just stand up there and bomb. Oh, Rhoda! <laughs> Jesus, the divorces are coming. So anyway, in this dream, well, it was really kind of peculiar, but I dreamt I was with somebody who looks exactly like you. Yeah. Now, how does it feel to be elected vice president? Uh, <laughs> well, it, it feels like I'd uh, like a recount. Uh -huh. Anyway, in this dream, this person that looked exactly like you was so wonderful, and we were having such a really great time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that I asked him to come home with me. What? Oh, in my dream, you know, I asked him to come home with me. Cookie, huh? <laughs> Cookie, uh, you want to split? You want to get a little six-pack and, uh, huh? Okay, let's go sit in all down and I'll tell you about the rest of my cookie dream. Yeah, tell me all of it. Yeah. Uh-oh, bad news. Hello, Miss No Name. Hello, Dr. Udall. That's my brother, Freddy, the ex-incumbent. I just as soon you didn't meet. Dr. Udall, I really feel just terrible about all this. Yes. Uh, oh, uh, by the by, um, I did, uh, I got you off the hook. All you have to do is confirm my story by announcing to the others, the divorced others, that you've reconciled with your husband. Gee, Mary, that's great. Here's hoping you and Stefano make it this time. <laughs> oh, incidentally, you're not paid for yet. X-rays came back today. You have a cavity. And I'm not going to tell you where. <laughs> now, you, you don't have to tell the truth. That's terrific. Yeah, it's terrific. All I have to do is just get up there and lie again. A little more practice, I might get very good at it. Mary, we'll start the meeting now. Uh, yep. Now, in a little while, I'll have news about our Tuesday night, where it's at excursion to the hippie quarters. Oh. <laughs> but uh, first of all, 
We'd like to have a word from our brand new Vice President, Mary Richards. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. Right. I, um, I guess that uh, I'll just make it short and sweet. As you may have heard, I am uh, reconciling with, with my husband, so it uh, turns out that I, I can't be your vice president any uh, longer. So, uh, But you've all uh, been uh, just lovely, and I, I, I want to thank you. So, uh, thank you. Hey, didn't she just get elected last week? Yeah. Hey, didn't you just get elected last week? Uh, yes, I was. Listen, I uh, I think that's lousy. Right. Very lousy. You're planning a reconciliation, and we all get together and elect you. Uh, oh, order, 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 order. No, there, no, order. It's, I, I, I didn't plan the reconciliation. It, it just uh, happened. Oh, what a loser. Order. No, 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 wait, everybody, wait. Um, listen, we all know how often these reconciliations work out. Hardly ever. <laughs> so I say, um, let's let her stay vice president until she sees what happens. Order, order. Now, that that order. makes sense to me. That makes. I think we should all get together, have a little vote, right? I mean, no, 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 it's a order. No, 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 because it's a lie. It is, you wrote with a lie. I am not divorced. I was not even ever married. I'm single. It's just that, well, you had these inexpensive trips to Europe, and I, I it just it didn't seem so bad at the time, lying, you know, to a, a club, but it turned out that I was lying to, to people, and I'm, I'm sorry, and I, I just wish that someone would say something. I think that's a lousy thing you did. <laughs> Yeah, I lied. It's true, folks. The fact is, my divorce is not yet final. <laughs> yeah, the Space Center is holding it up, so I'm not eligible either. So if you cast a stone at this poor unfortunate, cast one at me too, Miss Rhoda Morgenstern. Okay, okay. Roy Bickerson, age 33. <laughs> Single. Now, I don't know why I did it. Well, I couldn't help myself. I mean, the young Republicans, the young Democrats, they were such losers. I lied, too. But then that's the kind of crazy, kooky person I am. Richie Rader, I'm not married. I've never even went steady. Anybody want to start a new club? <laughs> You sure know how to clear a room. The only ones who were really divorced were Mrs. Norris, Dr. Udall, and his brother. You can't blame the man for hating you. You shot his whole club out from under him. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, what happened to your uh, date with Hal? We never got out of the parking lot. We had an argument over whose car to take. His was a camper. <laughs> What are you girls doing tonight? I feel like doing something really crazy and kooky, huh? Well, I'm sorry, but I just, I don't feel up to kooky. Or crazy. Oh. You know, I had another dream last night. It was all about teeth. <laughs> it was a beautiful day, and there I was, and I was surrounded by all these dazzling teeth, and there were soft dental floss clouds in the sky. Hello, Dr. Udall. <laughs> Would you care to go next door for some punch? Oh! Did they have punch? No. <laughs>